What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute total body turn up workout. Let's go ahead and grab some dumbbells and get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to our full body turn up workout. I'm so excited that you're here today. We've got a full body strength workout and a little bit of core and cardio down towards the end of the workout. So let's go ahead and grab some dumbbells, your water and your sweat towel. For dumbbells, we're gonna be ranging in heavier things today like a two handed squat, so two dumbbells and a chest press all the way up to bent rows. Our lightest weight will be for a lateral raise move today. So pick something for myself, it's gonna be about 10 to 30 pounds. You have a glute bridge in there as well. So if you wanna set up a barbell or something like that, go ahead and grab that, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into your warm up. I'm ready if you're ready. Let's go, three, two, one, here we go. Good job, heels to glutes, just opening up the hips, the quads. Three, two, and one. Nice and wide stance. Let's hinge back and come back to the middle. Hinge and stand. Today's workflow is gonna be two minutes at a time. One minute for an upper body move, one minute for a lower body move in the first half of the workout. And then one minute for a core and cardio in minute two for the second half of the workout. Okay, stay down here, hands on the mat. Let's go left to right. Take your time here. Stretch, stretch, stretch as you move and push. Great job. Not too much intense cardio, but just getting your heart rate up towards the end, pairing it up with a similar core exercise. Good job. Take both feet back, plank position. Shoot your heels away from your head and exhale, brace your core. Good, nice job. Lower down to the mat with a push-up, and open your chest up. Good, twist left and right just a bit. Good, toes out, lift your hips back up and drop as you walk back into a deep squat. Good job, driving your knees out, out, out. Just about another minute, 20 seconds of our warm up and we'll get started. Let's squat. Good, three, two, and one. Kick it out, hamstring high kick. Nice work. One more each leg. Good, arms over your chest. Ah, big open, big cross. So we're gonna have two minutes of work at a time here. Three rounds of those two minutes. So in minute number one, we're gonna start first set with a squat. And then minute number two, you'll go right into rows. Okay, so very similar weights is what I would like you to grab. All right, so minute number one, dumbbells are here. You're gonna sit, stand. Okay, 60 seconds here. Then at minute two, you're dropping row. Okay, we'll have 15 seconds rest before we jump up and start squatting again. I'm gonna start with my 20s. Okay, we start together in eight seconds. Are you ready? Come on, let's do this. Four, three, one minute of squats, two, one. Work on your range of motion here in minute number one. Get nice and low, warm your body up. And that transition right down to the floor should be pretty seamless. You can base the weight that you're holding on the row strength that you have, okay? Your legs are pretty strong. And you can adjust squats by going maybe a little bit quicker, getting a little more reps in to match up with the weight that you pick for your rows. Twenty seconds, you drop down onto all fours and we alternate rows. Two more squats and drop to a row. Four, three, two, dumbbells down, let's go. One minute here. 
followed up by 15 seconds rest, and we do this for three rounds. That's it, last 30 right here. Fifteen. Two, one, rest for fifteen and adjust if you need to. Okay, we've got three rounds. Whew. All right, we're back into it. Squats, three, two, one, let's go. Keep your back strong and tight. Good, last 30 seconds right here. Fifteen. Switch into rows in three. Last squat, two, one, drop it down. Let's row for 60 seconds, come on. Good, a nice squeeze in the back. That's it, just under 30 seconds. Come on, stay focused here, you're doing great. This first round, get into your mind, we've got this. We're getting stronger together. 10, you got one more round after this, okay? We'll wrap it up. Six, five. Good job, last row and rest. You got 15 seconds if you wanna try and go up. Let's do it. All right, squats for 60 in four. Great work, let's go breathe. Exhale and sit. Great job, last 30 seconds, really crank it out here. Two, one, and let's row. Last 60, get it, get it, get it, come on. Good job, heart rate should be up. We're working in what's called a peripheral heart action system, meaning we get the blood flowing to your lower body, and then we switch it and make it come back up to your upper body and vice versa. So that's the first half of our workout. If you feel like you're getting pretty warm, that makes sense. If your heart rate's getting up, it makes sense, okay? 
If it's not, let's turn it up in circuit number two, okay? You got 20 seconds left here. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. 30 seconds to rest. Everyone grab some water. Whew. We are moving on. We've got glute bridges and chest press, okay? Whew. I'll give you 15 seconds in between these two, just because there's a little transitional period, okay? Glute bridges, I want you to do either two dumbbells that you transfer up into a chest press or one heavy dumbbell that you transfer up into a close press, okay? Totally up to you. All right, I'm gonna do one dumbbell and then pull it up to a chest press, okay? So in 15 seconds, we'll go with the glute bridge first. All right, so you're bridging here, 15 seconds rest, and then we go chest press. All right, two, one, let's go bridge it out for 60. Great job. Less than 30 seconds here. 15 seconds to transition from this weight to your chest press. Nice work, give me 10 more seconds. A good 10. Four, two, one, good, 15 seconds rest. We've got 60 seconds of chest press, so keep that in mind, okay? We go again in five. Three, two, press. 60 seconds right here. Good, 30 seconds to go, come on. Fifteen, then we'll rest for fifteen and we'll do this two more times, come on. Two, one, rest. Good. All right, we're back to it. 15 seconds, we do glute bridges for 60. Make sure you're pushing. I know 60 seconds is a good amount of time to get to that point where your muscles are really feeling it. Round two, let's go. That's it, come on, 30 seconds. Push, 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 squeeze the glutes together. Come on, stay in it with me, stay right here. 15 seconds. Five, don't stop, don't stop. Two, one, rest, 15. Get your press weights. Whew. All right, here we go, seven. Two, 
two, one, let's go. That's it, 30 more seconds here. We'll finish up round number two, and then we'll go one more time each. Make sure round three is everything that you've got. Good job, give me 10. and rest all right let's crank it up last round if you've got anything left turn it up glute bridges in eight you're doing great stay with me this is a good solid strength portion of our workout workout so breathe deep and let's go That's it, last 30. Good, come on, 15 more seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to lift. One, and rest, and I want you to go hard on this last round of chest press. If you can give me five pounds heavier, let's try it. I'm gonna do it with you, okay? If you wanna work on just lasting the whole time, whatever pushes you, let's do it. We go in three, two, one, come on. Good job, 30 seconds. Good job, come on. Last 15, right here. Five, three, two, rest, beautiful. All right, grab some water. You're doing fantastic. We're gonna move into curls and lunges. So lighter weights than this section, okay? 45 seconds and we'll get started. So you've got 30 seconds left in that rest period as of now. Curls and lunges. For me, it's gonna be around 15 to 20 pounds in each hand. Okay, you just wanna gauge 60 seconds worth. So it won't be your max weight that you can curl. Okay, so we're gonna go down, either reverse lunges or you can do forward lunges. Okay, right after that, no break. You're coming up, curl, curl. Okay, let's go in five, three, two, one, lunge it out. Great job, first 30 seconds is done. Second 30, let's rock. Good, you're doing great. You can switch this up however you want. Forward lunge, walking lunge, reverse lunge, 
Curtsy lunge. Beautiful work, give me 10. Curls in two, one, let's go. And if you're using a heavier weight, you can go just hammer curls, just like this. If you're using maybe a bit lighter, you can supinate them and keep your palms open. Just make sure whatever grip you're holding, you're really pushing yourself here. Thirty seconds in, thirty to go. Totally fine to look down at your muscles, feel that connection. Ten more seconds, then we'll rest. Rest. Good job. All right, 15 seconds. We're going with lunges again. If you want to switch up the lunges that you do, that's fine. Here we go. Two, one, come on. There you go, front leg. Really drive off of the front leg. And breathe. Just in case you forgot about your breath. Keep it in check. Good job. 10, two, one, curls. Good job. Think about squeezing your bicep. Close your eyes if you need to. Find that mental cue where you're hiding your elbow and then you're opening it up again. 30 seconds. got one more round of that one. Oh, you're doing great. And then we're gonna move into some core, okay? Seven. Lunges. Come on, let's go. Four. Two, one. Switch it up if you want. I'm gonna do the same thing. Stay with the one that you would like if you're okay with that. Just give me a solid minute here of single leg strength. Front leg power up. Last 30. Ready, last round of curls right here. Seven. 
two, one. All right, let's curl. Come on. Good job. Breathe. Nice work. Keep breathing and pulling. Squeeze. Try not to swing. Squeeze. That's it. Last 30. Fifteen. Almost there, come on, don't stop. Four, two, last curl and rest. Beautiful work. You can throw those dumbbells up. We're gonna go core. Whew. Amazing job. Okay, pretty straightforward for the core. All right, bicycles, flip it right over to a plank. Okay, I'll let you choose the plank option that you would like. Okay, most challenging is gonna be forearm on the low end, okay? If you are looking for a modification, high plank up on your hands and or drop down to your knees. If you drop to your knees, don't let your butt stay up. It is a full body from head to the floor, straight flex, okay? Let's start bicycles in four. Two, one, here we go. We're going for 60. Cross, 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 cross. Exhale, keep your shoulder blades up. Come on. Just keep the breath consistent. You don't have to worry about which one are you breathing in on, which one's an exhale. Just keep breathing. Thirty seconds. Fifteen more, then you flip over to a plank. Then we rest. Good job. Five. Give me one more each leg and then take that flip. Two, one, come on. Feel free to double your mat up if you need to. Make sure your shoulders are over your elbows. Ribs are not reaching to the floor. They're pulled in here, stacking right over the hips. Glutes are flexed, quads are flexed. Belly button pulled in just to keep your ribs and hips in a line with each other. And you think about your legs, think about someone taking the top of your head and your heels and just trying to stretch you, trying to make you long. Okay, you're flexing while they're doing that, and that's a plank. Long and strong. 10 more seconds, flex just a little bit harder and breathe. Rest, good job. Okay, 15 seconds, flip over, breathe deep. We're back to bicycles. Five. Two, one, let's go, come on. Support your head here. And if you need a modification, heels are down. You drive up left elbow to right knee and vice versa. Okay, if you can float your legs, that's gonna be more of a challenge. Good job, there's 30 seconds, down. If you're someone who's working on getting stronger in your core, push through this, okay? I know this is not easy. It's not easy for anyone. If we're working hard, this time under tension is a challenge, okay? 10 seconds, you flip to your plank. Four. 
three, flip it over, two, one, let's go. Breathe and settle in, you're doing great. That's it. You're in your second half now officially, so let's anatomy check it out again. Shoulders over your elbows. Ribs reaching towards your belly button and your hips. Good job. Hips, think about your glutes squeezing together and your quads flexing so that your legs are not just weak and sagging your low back. You got 10 more seconds to drive your heels away from your head. Reach them away. Five. Two, one, and breathe. That's it, you got one more round of that, and we're done with this circuit, okay? Try and really work hard not to modify or to last the whole work period, okay? Bicycles, let's go. Great job, this is one of those workouts, you just work it out, you just grind, you just push, just don't stop, okay? You don't have too much thinking in this one, so get into your zone. Know that your body can handle this, it's your mind that you have to kind of walk through, right? Sometimes your brain says, oh, this is burning, slow down. 30 more seconds. But today, you're telling it, listen, my body's stronger than I think. I'm capable of so much more than I think. Fifteen more seconds, you flip and we do our best plank of our whole entire life. Ten. Two, one, flip, let's go. Come on, if you're competitive, think about your mind versus your body right now. If you're not competitive, think the same thing, okay? Your mind is gonna talk you through the way to make it comfortable for you. Working out in general, not always super comfortable, right? So if you consume this content, hopefully you hear me. Maybe you take it in one day, maybe the next day you don't so much, but one day you're gonna hear something that says, you know what, push through. Don't slow down, don't stop. Okay, I'm gonna keep giving you that messaging because Sometimes your brain will tell you to slow down when you're stronger than that, okay? In this case, just hold, because you can. Nine, eight. Give me one more big deep breath in, and exhale, two, one, rest. Great job. <laughs> Great job. 30 seconds rest, you got one more circuit, just like that, okay? Okay, we've got jackknives and plank open-ups. I know, we're back to the plank again. Jackknives, you can use a dumbbell if you would like. Okay, you have two options here. Most difficult will be two legs up. A little bit more of a modification, just one. Let's go in three, two, one, come on. If you're doing two legs, make sure you don't lift and arch your back here, okay? Keep your low back rounded, exhale, roll up. seconds. Good. You're going to flip over onto your left elbow. In six. Two, one. Let's go. Good job. 
Stay here for 30, we flip to the other side for 30, and that's round one. Driving your hip up. Okay, eight seconds, you flip sides. Five, four, three, you just roll right over, let's go. Good, open your hips up, open your chest, reach to the sky, drive your hip up. Come on, hold tight with me for 10. Two, one, rest for 15, good job. You're back to jackknives. Okay, if you wanna alternate legs, go up left, right, that's fine. Just meeting up in the middle. Good work, everyone, let's go. Five, two, one, That's it, give me 30 more seconds here. Exhale, go. <sighs> 15 seconds, you go back to that side plank. <sighs> Come on, strong abs, let's go, five. Three, two, one, side plank. Let's go with the side that we started with. If you need to modify, drop the bottom knee down. Keep driving the hip up. Maybe you can lift the top leg. Okay, it's a little bit of glute work in there. Seven. Switch sides in three, two, one. 30 here. Hold tight, come on, come on. Good, last 10. Keep it up, keep it up. Two, one, rest for 15, and let's rock one more round, okay? Jack knives and side planks, and you've made it. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Come on, we gotta finish strong together. Three, two, one, jack knives. If you're working on two legs, freeze at the top, so you don't drop down here, and then your upper body. Freeze, and then open together. Good job, last 30. Come on, strong abs, get stronger. Everything gets stronger through the struggle. Four seconds, let's go onto your side plank. Three, two, one. Come on, pop it up. 30 here, 30 on the other side. You've made it to your cool down. Okay. Way to work, come on, come on. 15 more seconds here, drive it up. Can you lift your leg? Six, five. 
Roll it over, two, one. 30 more seconds here, let's go, let's go. If you can, let's go, lift it up, lift it up. 15. Good. Turn it up if you can. Up, up, up. High hips for six. Five. Two, one, and rest. You have made it to your cool down. <sighs> Come onto your hands and knees. Amazing job. Big deep breath in and exhale. Sit your hips back. Reach your hands forward. Way to turn it up today. <sighs> Good, reach, reach, reach. Long back, big exhale. As you exhale, lift up. Roll forward. Good job. Amazing work today. Today I challenge your peripheral heart action system. So just know you went up and down, up and down for the first half of the workout. And then you worked on endurance. Okay, we did some single leg core and then some isometric core. Holds and works. Okay, you did great. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up, walk it back. Remember this workout, next time you just have maybe one or two sets of dumbbells, you just want a good solid strength session. You don't wanna think about anything. Just wanna show up and crush it. And if you're thinking about how can I inspire my friends or my family, share this workout with them. Slowly roll up to the top, okay? People are constantly looking for ways to get started for ways to kind of help them get out of their funk, out of their stuck spot. And if you can share something that would be a light to someone else somewhere that they may never tell you, if it will help someone, we're doing our mission, right? We're accomplishing the mission that we set out, which is to make sure that people have access to fitness all over the world, no matter what. Great job. We're gonna turn it up a little bit more tomorrow. A lot of cardio. So let's crush that workout tomorrow. But as for this cool down right now, I want you to think about the words that I said in that last couple minutes of the workout. The strength comes through the struggle. Anytime you're thinking about the reason that things are so hard for you or why can I not catch a break? Why can I not catch that I feel like a moving forward feeling? Pull your fingertips back. It's often because you just need to get a little bit stronger and you need to kind of fight through to discover in yourself that true strength. Switch it over. And it doesn't feel good during that period. It doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel comfortable like we talked about in the workout as well. But through that trial, through that struggle, you're molding yourself to be a person that is capable of taking something in the future and handling it or inspiring someone else and saying, I've been there, I feel you, you've got this. Okay, there's so much power and so much beauty in the struggle that sometimes we tend to swerve away from it or, or fight for what's comfortable, but pushing forward in things that are scary, things that might test us, things that might challenge us to step up, that's how we become our best selves. So I want you to keep showing up for these workouts. I want you to keep pushing through the struggle so you can find your true strength. And I'll be doing the same thing right along with you. Before you head out today, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and comment below what your favorite combo was today and I will see you for that workout tomorrow. Bye everyone, good job today.